What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, and I'm back with another video, man. And you already know what I need you to do. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell, because it does go a long way with helping out the channel. If this is your first time, I already know why you're here. You're tired of releasing on your keyboards, your laptops, and your desktops, and you're tired of being manipulated and dominated by female culture. You are in the right place man shout out to all the new subscribers the love is appreciated welcome aboard i'm glad you was able to join the family for everyone who's been rocking with your boy since day one you already know the love is real let's get into this video man why you can't stop masturbating why you can't stop beating your meat why you can't stop choking the chicken strangling mutilating your manhood man why can't you stop masturbating? Man, I'm going to just tell you straight up. The reason you can't stop masturbating, you've tried everything you could, you could possibly try, willpower, you went to church. I mean, you, you cut off all of your social media uh, sites only to turn them all back on. You've done any and everything that you knew to do, that you thought to do, and you still fell short. You still came up short. You still end up masturbating. You still ended up going back to your own vomit after really, really wanting to stop. A lot of you guys really want to stop masturbating. You really do. You really have an intention. You really have a desire to stop. But you can't. You might go two weeks. You might go a month. You might go 60 days. But you find yourself back in that vicious, vicious cycle. And you know the reason why you can't stop masturbating? It's because you're under demonic oppression. These spirits, this spirit, how it entered into you, is urging you. To masturbate. This is where your urges come from, right? These uncontrollable sexual uh, urges that come to you uh, just out of nowhere. You know, you could be doing something in the middle of the day. You could be at work. You could be at the gym. You could be anywhere, man, and you just get this urge to, to masturbate and to desecrate yourself. You want to splatter that keyboard, that laptop, that desktop. You want to pull up that raggedy, wretched porn or those dirty images or those whatever it is that you're looking at to entice yourself, man. This evil spirit is urging you to masturbate. It wants you to beat your meat. It wants you to choke your chicken. And what it's doing in return for you choking your chicken is it's stealing your blessings. It's taking away a piece of you every time that you're going to have to fight in order to get back. It's searing your mind. It's causing you to be more and more depraved and more and more darkened in your understanding. Every time you masturbate, man, you're losing your virtues. Your God-given virtues. Your virtues are very, very important because it's what God has given you to be able to tackle and complete your mission here on the earth and you give it away when you masturbate the more you masturbate the more debased you become the more you masturbate your morals begin to deteriorate you become less honest right you begin to do shady things you begin to think about things that you never would have thought of if you hadn't been participating in this sickening act of masturbation so they tell you masturbation is cool they tell you it's healthy they tell you all of these things but i'm here to tell you they're lies masturbation is not cool masturbation does not relieve stress it actually enhances it because your self-confidence goes down your testosterone goes down your ability to be able to perform in the bedroom is severely, severely hindered because you're releasing your brain thinks that you're having sex all the time when actuality you're not. 
You're desensitizing yourself. You're making yourself awkward when it comes to being around women because you're masturbating so much. You're living in a fantasy world. You're not living in reality. You're telling yourself a lie. You're feeding your brain a lie. And what happens is when you begin to feed your brain a lie enough times, it's hard to rewire your brain. It's hard to rewire all the information and the data that you fed it. So your brain thinks you slept with all those people. Your brain thinks that you just are going to town. They're like, yo, this dude is, he's going in. He's masturbating. He's, he's smashing women left and right. Your brain doesn't know the difference between your imagination and you actually doing the real thing. Your mind does not know the difference. And the more you pack your mind with these negative, these negative sexual images, the more it begins to believe that that is the real you. And you get lost in that. And once all of that information is implanted and it goes deep into your DNA because you just constantly keep masturbating, it's hard to break free. And it's an evil spirit that is urging you to masturbate. If you get a chance, scroll through my videos and see videos on temptations versus urges. Everyone faces temptations, but urges are demonic. Urges are evil spirits urging you to masturbate. You get this uncontrollable desire. You're just so horny. You are so horny to the point you can't control it. You have to release. You have to get it out at odd times of the day. Like, it, it, it's one o'clock in the day. You got a whole bunch of things to do, but you got to figure out a way to go somewhere and masturbate. That's a demon, bro. The fact that you don't want to masturbate, but you continue to masturbate, the fact that you try to stop masturbating, but you continue to fall into the vicious cycle of masturbating lets you know that you have no power. Your willpower is being suspended. Your willpower is null and void because this evil spirit has control over you because you've given it legal rights. Every time you masturbate, you invite spirits in. Every time you masturbate, you open up spiritual portals for other demons to come in. Demons of, of, of lying, demons of theft, demons of, um, you know, all types of sexual immorality, demons of, of uh, rape, demons of all of these different things. You allow these things free access into your life because you're telling it this is what you want. When you pull up that website, you're saying this is what I want. This is what I want to make covenant with. This is what I want to become one with. See, when you masturbate, you're becoming one with that demonic activity. You're becoming one with that demonic content. You're becoming one with it. Which means that you are of the same mind. You have the same purpose. You have the same goals. Sexual degradation. It's a spirit. Jesus said these spirits only come out through prayer and fasting. There's some spirits that will not leave except through prayer and fasting. If you want to free yourself, you're going to have to fast. A fast that I would recommend for any of you who are suffering from masturbation, this demonic oppression. I would recommend, highly recommend that you go on a three-day fast, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., only water. Drink only water. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., you break fast at 6 p.m., but between that time, those 12 hours, you consecrate yourself. You only drink water water you crucify your flesh and make sure you pick times throughout the day especially at night to pray and to focus on God and you command that spirit to leave in the name of Jesus and that spirit will leave it will leave some of you guys are going to have more difficult battles than others you continue to fast and pray you continue to fast and pray and in the name of Jesus that spirit has to go it cannot stay inside of you. It cannot continue to um, cause you to masturbate and overpower your will. It must leave. It must go in Jesus name. But you have to sacrifice. You have to be willing to dig deep. Draw nigh unto God and he will draw nigh unto you. Your father in heaven doesn't want you suffering from masturbation, doesn't want you suffering from sexual immorality. 
He doesn't. Right. And he's waiting for you to call upon him so that he can save you. He's waiting for you to call upon him so he can come in and rescue you. He's waiting to release his legions of angels to come and fight on your behalf. All you have to do is say the word. Jesus said, I'm not of this world. My kingdom is not of this world. If I want, I can have angels come. And they wouldn't allow you to arrest me. Jesus is your your father, man. He, he, he's, he's, he's the God man. 100% God, 100% man. You can call on Jesus to save you from these spirits. You can call on Jesus and he will send the angels to fight for you. He's already given you the Holy Spirit to help you navigate through this wicked world. I encourage you guys to fast. I encourage you guys to pray and force that spirit out by force, by force, by fire. Force him out by killing your flesh through prayer and fasting and seeking God and let the power of God come in and set you free. Isaiah 58. Go read Isaiah 58. It talks about the proper way to fast. It's the proper way to fast. Isaiah 58. Read that. Go into prayer. Three days. Consecrate yourself to the Lord. Seek him and cast that spirit out. And that spirit must go in Jesus name. This is why. You can't stop masturbating. This is Hold My Nuts Podcast, man. If you got value out of this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace.